Well, it's hard to find a family who hasn't been touched by opioid drug problems in one way or another. And solutions for this epidemic can't come soon enough. Washington's U.S. Senator Maria Cantwell came to Spokane today to announce a new bill that she says she hopes will help. Now, we're Hawk Hammer working for you tonight. And Hawk, you were at that announcement. Her bill getting a lot of support from local law enforcement, too. Nadine, Chief Craig Meidel with Spokane Police, Chief Ryan Schaefer with Spokane Fire, even uh, Spokane County Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich were all on board with this bill. They say communities around the country are being flooded with opioids, and that includes right here in Spokane County. Right now, the county is the fourth worst in the state for fatal opioid overdoses. Nationally, 115 fatal overdoses happen each day. Now, what this bill put forward by Senator Maria Cant Cantwell would do, it's called the CARES Act, and it would increase the federal government's ability to monitor and track where companies that produce opioids legally are sending their product by enforcing stricter record keeping. The senator today said too often shipments are made with excessive amounts of drugs, and they ultimately end up either getting overprescribed or end up on the black market. The bill would up the fine for failure to report drug deliveries from $10,000 per violation to $100,000, hitting the companies where it hurts. It's part of a bigger picture of drug enforcement. So what we're trying to do is catch the bad actors that might be getting involved in large-scale black market opioid distribution, but we have to find the trail. And to do that, we need the reporting. This will help curtail the ability of the manufacturers to just flood the market so that they can make money for their company. Of course, it is important to mention that legal opiates have their place in pain control and other medical fixes. But for even more context, between 1999 and 2014, uh, opiate sales here in uh, in the United States quadrupled over that time period. Uh, in 2016, 42,000 folks uh, died from a fatal opioid overdose. And with that, uh, a lot of folks are saying something needs to be done. Reporting live in Spokane, I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Hawk.